There are tons and tons of reasons I love living in New York City. The architecture, the history, the people, the food, the food is so good. But that's not why we're here today. We are here today to talk about the fact that there are still so many places to get your film developed here in the city, in every borough. I grew up shooting on film. I'm old enough to where all I had when I was growing up was film, and then I sort of switched to digital as I was getting into high school and college. But over the last year and a half, as I've fallen back in love with film, I've discovered three places that I go get my film developed most, that I love the most, and I wanted to share those with you here in this video. Our first stop is right behind me. It's called Eliz, E-L-I-Z, and it's right in the heart of Chinatown. This is a super cheap, no frills place. They only process C41 film, so no slide film, no black and white, unfortunately. But because of that, their prices are incredibly inexpensive. To process one roll of film, it's only $6. If you want to get scans, it's $11. And then if you want to get prints, it's an additional 30 cents per print. The other cool thing about this place that I haven't seen anywhere else in New York City doing still is that they offer one hour processing. If you just need to process your roll, no scans, you can bring it in and they'll have it done within an hour. Sometimes if it's a little bit busier, it'll be two hours, but still, I haven't found a place that does it that quickly anywhere else in New York City. They also have a pretty modest film selection, but the film that they do offer, all C41, is super cheap. I think their cheapest roll is maybe Fuji Superior or Fuji C200, and it's only $4 per roll, which is incredibly inexpensive. They're open every day of the week until about 7 p.m. Sometimes they stay open a little bit later if they have some stuff to process. So if you've got something that you need done quickly, this is a great place to bring it. That being said, because of the cheaper prices, you're not gonna get the same professional quality you'll get at our next two places. But again, if you're just a casual shooter, this is an awesome place. And I bring most of my casual roles that I just go out and shoot with my friends here because it's so cheap. Our second place is here in the East Village and it's called Luster Photo and Digital Lab. This place is a little bit more expensive than the first place, but the prices are still reasonable, but the quality is definitely higher. The other improvement with this place over the first place is that they can process any type of film. C41, E6, black and white, whatever you've got, they'll be able to handle here. You can pay with a cash or card here, which the last place was cash only. Processing and scans usually take about a day, sometimes a little bit longer, depending on how busy they are, but they are closed on Sundays, which is a little bit of a bummer. They do carry film here a little bit more than the first place, but the selection is still limited. This is mainly a photo processing, scanning, and printing place. Our third and final stop is the Color House right here in Soho. This is a professional imaging lab, so the prices are gonna be a little bit higher, but they do really, really quality work. If you want to get some really high quality drum scans or push or pull your film, this is the place to come. Compared to the other places we've been so far, they have a really great film selection. The best in the city, I think, is still B&H, but they have a really great selection here. They have the ability to do some really, really high quality and high resolution drum scans here, but even their normal scans and the colors are very beautiful. They do a really great job. They will cut your negatives for you and they will also put them in archival sheets to deliver back to you. Because they are a professional photo lab, they usually take a few days to turn around your film, unlike the other places that can do it much faster, but the quality is worth it. The other thing they have here that they don't have at the other two locations are computers where you can preview your scans before you leave the store and you can actually do some work on them there as well. All right, you guys have been great and you stuck around for this long, so I've got some bonus information for you. The first being that if you are interested in learning how to develop film yourself, or if you just need the facilities to do so, there's a place in Bushwick, Brooklyn called the Bushwick Community Darkroom that has facilities available to you and they only charge a small fee, I think it's a monthly fee. I'm not sure about the prices, but you can check down in the description for a link to their website. But they have full darkroom facilities, full facilities where you can uh, develop your film. They have all the equipment and they also offer classes. So if you're w interested in learning how to develop black and white film, color film, all that stuff, you can sign up for a class there and they'll teach you, which is really cool. I would be remiss not to mention B&H for obvious reasons. They have the best film selection in all of New York City that I've found. More film stocks than anyone and at reasonable prices. But I took a few rolls to get processed and scanned there and 
I noticed one that they send them out. So if they're gonna send them out, I might as well just take them someplace myself. And I really didn't like the scans that they that they uh, did for me. They, the colors were a little bit off. I didn't think that they were super high quality. So and the prices weren't that competitive. So I found places that I like instead, the ones that I included in this video, and those are the ones I recommend. But still, if you want some film and you want a sort of a rare stock at a good price, B and H is the way to go. All right, we're back in my apartment slash studio, and I wanted to say a few other things before we finish up. The first being that I know I covered three of my favorite places to get film developed and scanned here in New York City, but there are a ton of other places, not only in Manhattan, but in Brooklyn, and I'm sure the other boroughs as well. If you have a favorite place of your own, for whatever reason, whether it be location, convenience, price, whatever it may be, please let us know in the comments below. My three favorite places may not be the best for you, and so I wanna tap into the film community here on YouTube to uh, get as much information and helpful information as possible. Secondly, as you may be able to tell behind me, I've got a lot of film cameras, at least a lot for me, maybe about 12 to 15 different film cameras, ranging from 35 millimeter to medium format, range finders, uh, I've even got a Super 8 camera. So if you wanna see more videos about those cameras, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear if, if that's something that you guys are interested in. Obviously I'm interested in it. I'm super passionate about film photography and I wanna share that with you, but only if you guys are interested. I'm sure there are, uh, and I hope that there are a lot of you that are brand new to this channel. Maybe this video brought you here. If that's the case, welcome. I appreciate you watching this video and I hope to do more of this kind of stuff in the future on top of my normal travel videos and exploration and that kind of stuff. So keep an eye out, hit that subscribe bell if this is something that you liked, there'll be more of this in the future. And let me know if you have any ideas for uh, videos in the future. But that's all. Thank you guys as always very much for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. And don't forget to create and explore.